boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls, adults this is, and this all. This is our third video. Third video? Mm, it's mm. More than that. It's like our 15th video, I think. A 15th? So it's three times five. It's our 15th video. This is our 15th video. Yes, indeed. And so we're here. Uh, bring another video to you and this time we're talking more about the alchemist and we are moving along in the book and right now we're come to a point that I thought I'd like to share with you it talks about the merchant so last time we talked about the young boy and the merchant how they met together and things and so um, there's been some different things going on where they're kind of back and forth about how things should go but the young boy has definitely been helping that merchant right um, so one of the things I wanted to pull out I thought was interesting was that the merchant said that he was making money, things were going well, uh, but he really couldn't see, see letting himself not work in the shop, like having somebody else be in charge there. He felt like that, that would kind of hurt business and things like that. And so I thought that was important because I've been going to a lot of business seminar sessions, workshops, things like that. And one of the things they mentioned that was really important was the fact that a lot of times people just own a job instead of owning a business. And what they mean by that is that you have this business that you have, but it's like a solopreneur thing and you run it all by yourself. And if you're not there running that business and the business just doesn't run, or you do have it pretty well established and you have people in place, maybe you have a few staff, but you can't go on vacation, you can't leave the job, you have to shut the whole place down because you just don't feel like you can have somebody else be in charge for that time being. Um, so you're still really just owning that job at that point because it's like if you're not there, then it's just worthless, doesn't run, there's no money being made, nothing, right? So it's an important factor. What did you get out of it? Yeah, out of it. Out of the book, what did you get that was interesting to you? Mm. Remember anything that stood out to you? Mm. Was it the sheep? Was it the... Um, store? Some mm -hmm. things happened in the store? So we know the crystal right there, selling crystal and all that stuff. So something that happened was the boy had this idea to create shelves and create this and create that. So he's a young boy is definitely a visionary, right? He's smart, he's articulate, he's nice passionate. Absolutely, right? he's smart like you. And so he came with this bright idea, let's have crystal, let's do this, let's do that. And so there's a little pushback at first about the whole thing. Yeah, right there. <laughs> um, but finally, the, you know, the merchant said, okay, sure, but let's do that. Um, so all these different ideas he came up with. The latest one was about sun, that T on the hill. Remember that? So when people come down the hill and they are thirsty, right? They gave they gave them the tea. They would give them tea, and not just any tea. It was tea served inside these crystal glasses that they sell at the shop, right? And so that kind of really added extra value to it in a way. People decided they wanted to keep the crystal and you know buy it. Some people felt like it had like special magic to it, and that it was just all this wonderful aspects of it. Because it was in this crystal, there were so many things uh, that were wrapped around that in their mind that made it a really positive experience. Um, so it was the combination of, you know, you're going down the hill and you're thirsty. And so it's perfect location for one. And on top of that, this great idea of how positioning it in such a way that makes it exciting for people, it makes it unique and different. They're like, wow, it's tea and it's crystal. Wow, this is wonderful. And they're drinking it. So things are booming, right? I know at first the merchant was saying that he was reluctant because he didn't really want to grow and he wanted to kind of stay where he was at the book. and he knew that if he he knew if he you know did this that it would work and that business might be booming and things might get big he has to hire new employees and, and things like that and, right now. Mm -hmm. and so he was like i don't know if i should do that and so sometimes people do that too right where they want to stay stuck in a certain level of of their being, whether it was a business or a career or just their own journey in life, and think they want to stay in a certain spot because they're comfortable. And the young boy was teaching them to really come out of his comfort zone and to go for it, right? The, the merchant said that he made him sad in a way because he knew that he had so much potential and that he knew he could do these things. He just was reluctant to do them. And so really, um, he did finally eventually say, okay, let's do this. And the shop was booming. And um, he did hire more staff, employees, and things like that. And so uh, it's just amazing how this young boy came through um, on this journey for treasure and pyramids. And next thing you know, he stops there because he's such a visionary and obviously a great salesman. He's just very wonderful kid already, as you can see. And so he's able to come to that shop and get these great ideas and, and implement them. Yeah, he reminds me of you a lot. He's able to implement these ideas and really just move forward with them 
and not just have a bright idea, but actually execute, which is important, right? So many people have plenty of ideas, but no execution. And so that means that the idea is worthless, really, if you're not gonna execute on it. So what do you think about this young shipper boy? He's smart like me. Smart like you, definitely, definitely. Mm. You see yourself going to a shop and just kind of taking over everything and saying, let's buy this, let's do this, let's do that, and really making that store flourish. Mm. You could do that. You got a lot of good ideas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anything you want to read in there? Mm. Why is that? Right there. Why is that? Why is that? Yeah, it says, why is that? It said, beginner's luck. When you play cards first time, you're almost sure to win. Beginner's luck. Why is that? Because there's a force that wants you to realize you're a personal legend. Mm. Hmm. That's good stuff. We talk a lot about the force and, you know, omens and things like that. It's a really great book, you know, personal legend. And that legend thing is, is critical right there. That's and don't forget part. to read them to your kids if, <laughs> if you get, if you have it. Absolutely, yeah, you can read this to your kids. Or to yourself. Absolutely, right? Usually um, adults pick up this book and they read it from front to back and they get a lot of wisdom out of it, a lot of encouragement, motivation, inspiration. Uh, but you can definitely do what we're doing, you know, read it to a, a young person. Get a, and get, a, and get um, how many books you can get. <laughs> you say mm. get how many you can get. So you can afford several of the same book, you say just get a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Like 50 books and pass them out to people. That'd be a great idea. Mm -hmm. Really pay it forward to give back. Yeah, so I mean, you might get 100 books and just pass them out to, you know, people in the neighborhood or something. Well, that's it. Unless you got any more you want to say. Mm -hmm. Just want to mm -hmm. say bye to everybody. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Enjoy your day or evening. Afternoon, whatever you might be doing, enjoy your, well, your brunch, your lunch, day, breakfast. Well, if you're on an off day, which if, if your son is, um, you can take them somewhere. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Enjoy the day if it's nice out there where you're at. Um, if it's sunny, weather's great, take the kids out or you go out, have a good time, fun, play. If it's cold, bundle up or stay in the house, watch Netflix, do something. Yeah. Or play, or play a game of hide and seek or something. Mm-hmm, play hide and seek. Do whatever you like, right? Or do whatever game you want. Mm-hmm. Just have fun, enjoy yourself. The stars are shining for you. What? I said the stars are shining for you. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it means that when you look up and you see all the stars shining, that all those stars are shining for you. They want you to see them and be inspired. And just be caught up in the beauty and the awe of it all. The beauty? Mm -hmm. that this world is your oyster. 